naming PowerPoint slides with VBA. It is a best practice to name your slides and shapes in PowerPoint. This video is about naming your slides with VBA. Let's write code to print the current slide names. The code will iterate through all the slides and debug.print each one of their names to the immediate window. The dim statement is technically not necessary, but because we used it, we will get code completion suggestions when we use the variable later, rather than having to remember the slide property and method names. Next, we visit the slides in the current presentation, calling each one current slide as we visit it and print its name to the immediate window. You want to name each slide so you can navigate to a particular slide by name. The alternative is to find a particular slide by foreaching through all of the slides and performing some test, such as the text in a title shape, that is error prone and indirect. By default, each slide will have a name something like slide 1 or slide 10. These names are not very identifying. We can use the name to select a particular slide. Let's demonstrate with the immediate window. Active presentation dot slides slide 11 dot select but wouldn't it be better if the slide was named video snapshots instead let's write code to give meaningful names to each slide this is pretty similar to the last example but we use input box to prompt the user for a slide name now you might want to use this several times as you add more slides or think of better names for each slide you will want to see the current slide name and change it only if it is necessary let's modify the code so the difference from the last example is that we construct our input box message first with the current slide name. If the user likes the current name, they don't type a new name and just click OK or Cancel. In that case, their input is the empty string and the slide is not renamed. The code so far has assumed the PowerPoint window is in normal view. If it is in some other view, such as outline, the slides are too small to see to name the slide. Here's the modified code. We wrap all the code from before in a check that the view is normal view. If it's not in normal view, we tell the user to switch to normal view with the message box. That is sort of a cop out, but the problem with taking this further is that view type is read only. To change the view type, you have to get tricky by programmatically pushing the button that switches to normal view. I leave that as an exercise or next video. Finally, no two slides can have the same name. So let's add code to check that the name a user enters is not already a slide name. Once the user has entered a slide name, we for each over the slides again to make sure no existing slide has the newly entered name. If we do find a slide with that name, we keep the existing slide name. Once you have found a slide with the newly entered name, there's no need to examine the other slides. So we break out of the second for each loop. In general, I recommend knowing how to do a task manually in the PowerPoint user interface before accomplishing the same task in VBA. In this case though, the manual methods are either cumbersome or vary by PowerPoint version. Some methods include going to the outline view and adding a title shape and dragging it off the visible slide. Google for details. In this case, I think programmatic is best. If this video has been valuable to you, please subscribe to CBT, TJM, share, and comment.